boy Cobra back at it with another video. If you're trying to get a hold of me via my cell phone, it's not going to happen. My cell phone is currently kaput. I'm in the process of replacing it. I'll let you know as soon as I get it back. It's going to cost me like $168 to replace it. But I digress. I'm in the process of working on it. I want to go to bed here in a second because I, I was sleeping and I woke up and then, yeah. All right, now I, I'm drinking all my uh, homemade wine. I got this cherry wine that I made with the peppermint candy canes and the chocolate candy and it is delicious. I love how I make an effort not to drink or be drunk around my family this Christmas and then I still get shit for it. I digress. I don't want to get into it. I'm just going to let it go because the whole fight was fucking stupid. And I don't want any drama in my life. All I wanted for Christmas was to be able to spend time with my family without any fighting or any drama. And I can't even have that. It is what it is. But we're going to let it go and let bygones be big. Be bygones. So I won't be able to do any cooking videos or go live until I uh, fix my cell phone. It is what it is. But you know what? I love my family and I love my fans and my friends. And I hope everyone has an awesome, had an awesome Christmas and a happy new year. I had an awesome Christmas despite everything. Uh, my dad made his delicious prime rib, and we, and we watched Christmas with the Cranks. That's a pretty funny holiday movie. But I just, I need a break from people, dude. I do. So if you don't see me on YouTube for the next couple of days, because I'm working on getting my cell phone replaced, and trying to keep my head above the surface. If that makes any sense. The whole fight started because I went outside to have a cigarette. And my mom and dad are like, could you not drink any more of that homemade wine while you're here? Thanks. And I wasn't planning on it because I already had enough. So, like, it felt like they were giving me shit just because they could. And when you're the oldest child out of all three siblings, that's to be expected. People want to accuse me of being an asshole when I drink, and I'm like, I'm only an asshole when you fuck with me, dude. And that's fair. I wasn't planning on getting drunk around my family for the holidays. You know, I, I have a social drinking limit, and that's three to four cocktails, drinks, whatever. And that's just general, like, if I don't feel like getting drunk and I'm drinking to be social, I only have, like, four maximum because i didn't want to repeat it last year dude you think you know and to be called a selfish piece of shit and an asshole when i drank and i'm like really if i was so selfish dude i would have fucking chugged the entire bottle of homemade wine and show up to my family's house blackout but i didn't i made an effort to be sober and only limit my drinks to four and i still got shit for it dude like they assume i'm, I'm just gonna fuck up and they didn't even give me the chance to succeed. The, the whole fucking fight was stupid. It, it was so stupid. I, I don't even want to talk about it on YouTube. I just, I, I need a break from people, dude. It's nothing against my family or my friends or my fans or anybody. It's just me personally. One of my neighbors came in and checked on me last night. Or, you know what I'm saying? When I got home from my family's. And I appreciate that. He let me type on his typewriter. He's like, check out this typewriter I got. I'm like, old school, ching when it hits the end of the paper. Fucking yeah. So you know what I did? To blow off steam, I typed a bunch of swear words on the typewriter because I wanted to be silly. And that's exactly what I did. And my family says they put up with a lot 
they put up with a lot because of me. And I'm like, the feeling is mutual. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to fucking blame my family for anything. I acknowledge that I got problems. And I, I need to work on my shit. I'll flat out acknowledge that. But when you don't even give me a chance to succeed, you just assume I'm going to fail. And then immediately, you have to insert your two cents. While telling me nobody wants to hear your two cents. I'm going to get a little pissed about it, dude. And then on top of that, it's like, oh great, my idol Ozzy Osbourne has a fucking spinal tumor. And all I wanted for Christmas was to be able to spend time with my family without any fighting or any drama. And I don't even get to have that. Even if my family doesn't forgive me or work on themselves, I don't care. Do not care. Nothing like being screamed at by your father as he's driving you home. Call me a piece of shit and yelling fuck you at me as loud as he can. I'm like, instead of having a conversation about this, like mature adults who are just going to yell at each other, okay, I can do that too. <laughs> it is what it is. People are going to be like, Cobra, what happened? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm not going to discuss what happened on my channel. The fight's over with. It's done with. The whole fight was stupid to begin with. But it's like, how am I supposed to feel, dude, when I feel like my family fucking secretly hates my guts? Would it have killed my family to be like, hey, Josh, appreciate you not getting blackout drunk around Christmas like you did last year. What you got there? Some homemade wine? Can I try some of it? But when my family called me a selfish piece of shit and called me an asshole when I drink, I'm like, I'm only an asshole when you fuck with me. And to be fair, I made a solid effort this year to not get blackout drunk around my family, to only have three to four drinks and not count anyone else's drinks like I usually do when I'm around my family, and I still got crap for it, dude.